In this demonstration, you'll learn how to refine a mesh created by ANSYS Forte. For this example, I have a port injected Spark Ignition internal combustion engine with moving valves loaded into ANSYS Forte. Here we can see the intake manifold, the exhaust manifold, the head, and the piston. Within each manifold, the intake and exhaust valves are seated. At this point, I have imported the geometry using an STL file. Now I have to mesh the geometry. ANSYS Forte creates the mesh during the solver run, and most of the meshing is automatic. In fact, to generate a mesh, I only need to set a material point location and define a global mesh size. The material point is the point in the domain that tells ANSYS Forte where the mesh will be generated and should be located at least one unit cell length away from any boundaries. This point must be located inside of the domain throughout the entire simulation. In this case, the material point will be placed within the head since it's stationary throughout the engine cycle. The global mesh size controls the size of the mesh across the entire domain. The small feature deactivation factor describes how small scale features will be treated. Essentially this value indirectly describes the lower size limit of features that will be meshed. A larger value means that more small features in the geometry, such as sharp corners or crevices, will be ignored, increasing the robustness of the solver run. The default mesh has been completely described by the material point and the global mesh size settings. Unfortunately, the default mesh is too coarse in many areas to properly describe the flow field and must be refined. Fortunately, mesh refinement is a straightforward process in ANSYS Forte. I will start by refining the mesh at each wall boundary intersection. All surface locations apply to this refinement, excluding the inlet and outlet surfaces, which are open boundaries. A single cell layer at each wall will be half of the set global mesh size. Now to refine the mesh as it intersects the open boundaries. The locations of this refinement only includes the inlet and outlet. At these intersections, two extended layers are required to make sure the inlet and the outlet have smooth refinement where they intersect the wall boundaries. During the intake and exhaust portions of the engine cycle, fluid velocity near each valve stem will be very fast. To capture the details of this flow at this location during that time, I will refine the mesh around the valve stem. The exhaust valve stems, which are located here, and the intake valve stems will be included in this refinement. In this case, 10 layers of refinement are needed to properly describe the flow at this location. For similar reasons, I refined the mesh at the valve ends which seat the port. During the top dead center, the mesh must be refined such that some of the cells separate the head and the piston surfaces. Since this is only a concern at or near the top dead center position of the engine cycle, I can save computational resources by only refining the mesh within this crank angle interval. A second squish occurs at a different crank angle interval, so I'll copy this refinement depth and change the crank angle. This engine is ignited by a spark, which is generated at a particular position within the piston during a small crank angle interval. To properly capture the chemistry around the spark when it's generated, I will add a point refinement depth and set its location to the spark location. A sphere of mesh defined by the point and radius of application will be refined during the following crank angle interval. I can visualize the sphere to confirm that its location is correct.
The last type of refinement that I would like to add is called solution adaptive refinement. This is a form of mesh refinement, which is controlled by the value of solution variables in certain areas. The fluid flow can become increasingly unpredictable with an increasing temperature gradient, and above certain temperature gradient values, mesh refinement is required to capture the flow field. If the temperature gradient of the flow field exceeds the mean temperature gradient by half the standard of deviation, the mesh in that area will be refined using this size factor. This refinement will only occur during the falling crank angle interval within the cylinder volume. I will also have the mesh refined in areas where the fluid speed exceeds the mean speed by half a standard of deviation. This control will be applied across the entire domain. Using these refinement settings, ANSYS Forte will be able to capture the chemistry and fluid flow with a sufficient amount of detail for my analysis. This concludes this demonstration, showing you how to refine a mesh in ANSYS Forte.